Hey all and welcome back to my channel. Well, as you can see, today's uh, featurette is going to be Miss Rebecca Rubin. She's going to be getting changed into her original first version of her Hanukkah dress. Um, I'm not going to be showcasing um, meat outfits if they don't have the accessories. I think the only two that's going to get that is um, Cecile Marie Grace because they do have their complete outfits on with the accessories. Um, but I will showcase meat outfits at a later time when they are complete with the full meat outfit and the accessories. I did just want to showcase one thing while I have this here. Um, I know there's a lot of controversy over the Be Forever outfits, but in some respects, I kind of torn on Rebecca because I like her purple outfit a little better than her classic one. So in case you haven't seen it, this is what it looks like together, the purple outfit, and then she has these purple shoes, um, Mary Jane's, um, but, I mean, since they did the Beef Forever rebrand, the only one that ever stood out to me that I liked the meat outfit was Addie's. I love that blue outfit. That is really pretty. Um, and it wasn't until I got this one, I got Rebecca, that um, I do kind of like the purple a little better than the burgundy, but I still like the classic. Interesting thing, I do like the classic accessories better than the Beef Forever. I feel like having that hat purple also was a little overkill on purple so um yeah but with the with the hanukkah outfits i really wanted to get the or even christmas outfits. i really wanted to get the originals first um i do like i do like all of them um the ice blue the, the yeah the light blue one that they currently have still available i kind of feel like it's a little too much remembrance of the ice blue outfit that they had for the girl of today in the 2000s so i mean i do like it and I kind of, I'm kind of interested to know exactly what the color of the second one is because I feel like in the stock photos it's not really showing up. It sort of looks blue, but then also sort of looks purple. So I don't know if it's like a shade of indigo or what. I don't know. But anyway, I really wanted to get the original one, and so I ended up actually ending up with two of the dresses in order to get the complete outfit. And the, um, and the dress, the first one I got had a stain on it, so I'm still trying to figure out how to get that out. But the thing that was interesting with the first one I got, this is the main reason I went for it, was that they had the original hair bow for Rebecca. So I knew that was kind of hard to come by. And this is actually, if you can see it, it's actually still in the original, original packaging. So I don't know if this was, whoop, sorry. <laughs> I don't know if this was ever used before or not, but... It's a very pretty print, if you saw that. So we'll definitely be putting that on her. I still gotta figure out how to put it on her because it's a little different. It's like you tie it around, then you tie it off in a bow, I think. I gotta I gotta look at the catalog picture again. Um, but then the outfit also includes a pair of cream stockings. I think these are cream because they look more off-white than white. So there's the stockings, and then they also have these really cool shoes. Um, the seller from eBay put them in a little baggie, but these are the shoes that go with her Hanukkah outfit. And then the main piece um, is the dress. See, that's going to be this purple dress. Um, there was like a stain on the other one right here, so I'm still trying to figure out how to get that one out. But this material, I noticed that's up here at the top for the collar and the sleeve cuffs, um, can get pills and thread poles, and so it's a very, a very fragile, delicate fabric, so just be aware of that if you ever get this outfit um yeah and it's so it's very pretty it's got the sash this probably could use a little bit of steaming i'm not sure <laughs> uh, i don't have a steamer so we'll just go with it for right now um yeah that's what we're going to be putting her into so let me just pause this and i will change her out and then we'll show you how it all looks on her when we're done be right back so i'm halfway into finishing this off i just wanted to showcase real quick so that's the what the waistband looks like for the um the uh stockings it was a little bit of a little almost looks a little glittery on the top lace the one thing that was frustrating about this outfit you have to actually take her underwear off because the stockings go under the underwear and then the underwear go over the top so you do have to put redo that but these are the shoes and they look like that on the bottom so I just wanted to showcase what that layer looked like before. So now I'll get a dress and I'll get the uh, hair bow. Um, well, actually, while I'm here, before I finish, um, I did get out the old catalog. Um, so this is what she looked like with her full meat outfit. So she also had a hat, a shawl, and a um, bro 
approach. Um, so that was that. But the one we're going for right now is her Hanukkah outfit. Oops, sorry. <laughs> there we go. And I don't have anything else for her collection for Hanukkah. Just this one outfit. Um, the other... I do have the um, Hanukkah outfit for the girl today, and that one has the Hanukkah accessories. So we'll be using those Hanukkah accessories at a later point. <laughs> I'll, I'll showcase them when I also do um, Lindsay in the other Hanukkah outfit. So let me finish this off, and I'll be right back. So you're just going to get a little bit of a sneak preview, but there was a couple issues I had trying to get this dress on. So I just wanted to point this out as... Um, I was doing it so I come to find out you actually have to undo the sash because it's a little bit form-fitting to the doll um, so yeah I had to do that also on the back side you before you do up the velcro you need to put the top part of the doll stand down the back of the dress and have it go on because this is so tight you can't even get the doll stand up um, what do I want to say? The top part up under the dress, you have to do it literally with the Velcro. Also, with the Velcro, be aware if you ever get this outfit, the Velcro likes to catch the purple stripe fabric, so be aware of that also. All right, so I'm going to finish off the sash in the front and get her hair fixed, and I will be right back again. Oops. <laughs> so I forgot to show one thing. I just wanted to show you just how long this ribbon was after I opened this. And yeah, this was still in the original packaging, so that was really cool. This is like really freaking long. All right, so let me just tie this off for here, and then I'll show you the finished product. Be right back. Okay, I would just say that was a little more time consuming than I thought. Um, that ribbon is a little difficult to figure out how to get it on her head. Uh, well, that part wasn't so bad. It's more fit how figuring out how to tie the bow. You really couldn't see how it was tied off um, in the catalog picture. I did have to figure. I did figure out though. I did have to take off her meat barrette, so that does have to come off. Um, this hairstyle wasn't so concerned about doing that because this actually was in a plastic bag taped to the inside of the doll box, so you actually had to put the barrette in to begin with. So that one wasn't too much of an issue. But um, yeah, so here she is. Miss Rebecca, and this is her Hanukkah outfit. I'll just do the little slow turn. And that's what her Hanukkah outfit looks like, this beautiful purple striped dress. Um, it has these really fun like sleeves. Let me see if I can just, uh, show that a little closer. And the collar. And I don't know if I really got the bow the way it's supposed to be. So I think the the way it was in the catalog, it was more going this way. But for like me, I could not figure out how to do it. And that turned out the best to me. So I'm just going to go with it because I already tried taking it out and regretted that majorly. <laughs> um, so yeah, we're just going to go with it. So yeah, this is Rebecca. So let me know in the comments what you think of this outfit. Um... Do you have any of her Hanukkah outfits? Do you even have Rebecca? Actually, I should ask that first. And if you do, do you have uh, any of her Hanukkah ah, Excuse me. Words need to come out in the correct order. Uh, do you have any of the Hanukkah outfits? This one, the second one, or the third one? Um, yeah, let me know in the comments. And I will see you guys next time. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. You guys have a great night.